Nebraska's news source. And welcome back, MTV. Madonna and moonwalking, things you normally don't associate with an opera, right? <laughs> but uh, that's the vibe you're going to get in the Anchorage Opera's play this weekend. The Elixir of Love is a rad adap <clears throat> adaptation of the classic opera. It is the first opera for new general director Ben Robinson. The Elixir of Love is an opera like no other, set in the colorful 80s. Complete with a circular set that rotates and resonates with Anchorage Opera's new general director, Ben Robinson. Uh, this show is um, is one of the great comedies um, in the whole operatic canon. I got a chance to sit down with the 39-year-old director the night before the opening of his first show here at the Performing Arts Center. And we're on a set that's meant to be a set. Uh -oh. So um, there are elements of the set, like in the middle, that don't look like they're finished. And then we get to something that and there's looks, a reason for that. And there's a reason there's for a that. Reason for and the reason for that, of course, is that you know we're setting this whole thing as a show within a show. Ambitious, complete with cameras and a big screen, and the audience gets an in-person, behind-the-scenes opera, room to room. The next part, it's a living room, and it's less Italian, less but Italian. Um, you'll enjoy it. Still it's, it's colorful, um, might burn your retinas, um, but it's, um, it's... That's, the, that's, I'm an 80s guy. Yeah. So, all right, let's go, let's go. You. Oh, After you, thank please. You so much. I appreciate that. We go into Adina's living room, yeah. um, complete with its cheetah print bar, yeah. um, its tic tac colored couch, and um, this rad rug, um, which um, I think I remember my mom throwing away. Um, it was the 80s, and this is now. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this is your first. Is this your first show? It's my first show wow. at the helm. So. Yeah. Expectations are high. We'll see if I get fired after tomorrow. Hopefully not. Um, not with a moonwalking tenor, you won't get fired. Local rising star Luke Honick and Metropolitan Opera soprano Lindsay O's. So what is it about opera in this show? It really reaches out and grabs you in an incredible way. And what I find with people that give opera a try the first time, is, and they leave thinking, I didn't know it could be like that. And this is the show that could really do it for them. With rehearsals done and just hours before the debut, like life. Dave, here we come full circle back to the garden yeah. um, where this whole thing starts. Well, best of luck, my friend. And uh, yeah, uh, your first show. So uh, honored to be a part of it. Thanks for a little behind the scenes. Oh, of course. Show. Yeah, so good luck. Thanks. All right, man. Full circle and in this elixir of love opera, nobody dies, but a new career is born in a man named Ben Robinson. And he's the all good news. What a guy. He's, uh, he's a really nice kid. No one dies, but was anyone poisoned at least? I, <laughs> I think you're thinking Shakespeare. Or I guess it could be an opera, too. Yeah. 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 By the way, Ben Robinson is no stranger to Alaska. He performed here years ago and now has returned after being in Philadelphia. The Elixir of Love runs through the weekend at the Performing Arts Center. And keeping with the 80s theme of the show, they're encouraging guests coming to the Sunday show to dress up in their most excellent 80s garb for a chance to win some cool swag. Yeah, for more on this or this story, just find the All Good News story this afternoon. It'll be posted about 5.30, so there you go. All right, here's